office with a great view is a nice perk many of us simply have to do without. But don't tell that to one Connecticut woman. She's suing her ex-employer for $33 million, all because she claims that they wouldn't give her a well-lit desk with a window view, something that supposedly helps a health condition she has. So does she stand any chance of winning this one? Let's go back to our legal panel, Mercedes Colwyn and Paul Callen. All right, Mercedes, this woman says that she has seasonal affective disorder. Could everybody in the Fox newsroom sue Fox and say, we have seasonal affective disorder, put windows in the basement? If they do have a doctor's note, a local statute does protect them, believe it or not. The local statutes say if you have a depressive disorder, which is a mental health condition, you are required to have a reasonable accommodation. So there's a couple of things that the court does. First thing they say is how much would it cost to carve out windows down here in the newsroom? Probably cost a way too much money to do that, so that may not help them. But the other thing is, what about moving some folks upstairs if they have the disorder? So that's this balancing act, this balancing test that, that the courts will do. This woman really has a good shot at it. She has the medical corroboration. When she complained and sought an accommodation, uh -huh. they fired her. She's got a retaliation claim, a too. A balancing act at the price of $33 million. That seems like a huge, huge price tag on this lawsuit. Oh, Paul. this is a totally ridiculous lawsuit. <laughs> you know what I say, Julie? Get a light bulb for this lady. You have to work for your entire career to get a corner office and get some sunlight. Get a lamp for her. Get a bright sun. That's a bright because you, for Paul, her. have this tremendous <laughs> office on the corner with panoramic views of the East River. So well, of course listen, you wouldn't have an issue because you have you plenty know, of sunlight. You know, in your office. the bottom line on this. And he doesn't this, have the disorder. <laughs> exactly. The bottom line on this is this sad. It's one of these phony uh, syndromes that almost anybody can make up. And I think you know the supreme irony on this case. Cases. Not, you know who she's suing? This law firm of Binder and Binder. They're a plaintiff's law firm. They sue people all the time uh, who well, they say knows. have disabilities, and now they're getting nailed. They're getting hoisted on their own. Sure, petard. but you know what? How ironic, and how much the jury will respond to that when they say to them, "Wait a minute! You had all these cases where you that you actually helped these individuals, and then the one person that worked for you, you discriminated but against." But seriously, that? that's a Merce big problem. You know, Mercedes, what are you supposed to do? Everybody would like to have a window, oh, get some like sunlight, you? go outside and walk <laughs> down the street. Hey, Julie, sit I think under a bright light, and you know, problems. Here, here's solved. the way we should do it. We should have everyone here who has said, "Go move into Paul's <laughs> office," because obviously he's got enough sunlight. For all of us. Oh, all right, well, it's been tough tonight, Julie. My back's been aching me. I'd like a leather right. recliner. <laughs> I'm going to sue for that. All right. All right, Paul Callen and Mercedes Colwyn, great to see you two. Thank you great. so much.